Welcome! Today's video I'm sharing with you how to put together the new Traveler's Folder die, which is part of our new Mini Memories collections. I'll be showing you how to put this together using our new Cozy Days pattern papers. You'll cut one with the pattern facing up and cut one with the pattern facing down. If you're using regular cardstock, this won't matter. Moving on, you'll also want to cut one of each of the inside pocket pieces, with the pattern facing up for one and the pattern facing down for the other. The next piece is optional, but you can cut two of the little closure and two of the little reinforcer for a little added color. This is just an optional feature if you want to close your mini book. Now let's begin by folding over on the four score lines, both of the long sides and both of the short sides. Now that you have those scored, go ahead and take one of those pieces and trim off the long flap on one of the sides. This is where you're going to attach the two pieces together. You'll want to add some double stick tape to the long flap and to the two bottom flaps as well. Now you'll go ahead and remove that protective covering from the tape and I find it easiest to flip my project over and align that cut edge to the center seam. This helps me make sure it's really straight. Then secure that together and there you have the base of your traveler's folder. To create those inside pockets you're simply going to fold on the score line on each of those inside pockets, adding some double stick tape to that long edge. To secure these pockets in place I find it easiest to fold over that edge and then line up the bottom to the right corner and then gently place that right side so it's aligned perfectly with the folder. Now you'll remove the protective covering of that bottom flap. Folding over the pocket and making sure it's nice and straight. And there you have the inside pocket. Now you're going to repeat the same steps on the left hand side and you will create the perfect little traveler's journal. The finished size when it's folded up is four and a half inches by five and three quarters inches. The perfect size for those little four by five photos. Now let's go ahead and if you want to add a little closure to keep your memory album closed, just add a little double stick tape to the inside edge of both of those flaps. I simply place those on the front and the back of the folder using the top one as a guide for the bottom piece, making sure they're nice and aligned. And then you can easily add the little reinforcer if you want to add a little pop of color. I always love a little extra touch of color to coordinate with what's ever going on inside and this is a fun way to do that. Now of course this is the perfect time to pull out that stamp market ribbon and use that to secure this closed. It's the perfect finishing touch for your traveler's journal. The possibilities are really endless on what you can use this little folder for. We love using it to store photos. It'd be great for little cards and tags as well. Perfect for the memory keeper, but also for the card maker. Here I'm sharing a few more fun colors using our pattern paper pack from Cozy Days. We assembled this little mini album using our Cozy Days ephemera and fun little fall photos. The perfect little keepsake for your little memories. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. All this product is available at thestampmarket.com. I'll provide a link below. I can't wait to see what you guys make with this. Have a great day.